There we go. Boom. Hey, everyone. I'll turn the music slightly. There we go. Hey, Yoko. Hey, Calypso. Good to see you right off the bat. How's your Saturday or Sunday going? Sat yeah, Saturday or Sunday going. <laughs> it's Dave. Yes, it's me. Oh. It's been a little bit of a crazy week for me, personally. And uh, I think that, that TikTok that came out is yeah, it it's 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 attracted a few more people. So chances are we probably won't see a lot of those people, but it's been a little bit kind of insane. <laughs> so but this is update week. So we are going to pretty much, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to really target. I probably, I probably need sand. I'll probably get a bunch of sand and get ready for the update. Um, yeah, it's been pretty crazy. But yeah, it's update week. So we're pretty much going to be in prep mode for all of my streams over the next week. And getting ready for whatever may come. Um, so it's a question of what do I need? Not really getting any of the rare spawns, are we? Because what's supposed to happen statistically, you've got a higher chance for the rare spawns to appear when it's raining. But that doesn't seem to be happening right now. That's all I've been doing these past couple of days because <laughs> I realized you'd be ready for that date. Yeah, I think the last time what messed me up was not having enough tinkering parts and not having enough iron to make the tinkering parts. So, it's all about being prepared. I mean, to be honest, it's they're not going to use all the resources that I've gathered, right? It's going to use some of it, but not all of it. So, I've over-prepared. But the key things is having that meal... Uh, having that shrimp for the meal, um, lobster and fruit shrimp, making it if load of it, which is going to be my job on probably Thursday night. I'll probably do a stream Thursday, or not, you know, my Thursday night uh, for the update a few hours later. Yeah, shrimp. And it, was, it would just be me making food and doing final prep. I got to hit out, but I'll watch it back if I don't catch you live still. Promise. Oh, it's all right. No, it's all right. You don't have to. I'm only giving you flag. The fact that anyone spends the time, like, just re-watching any of my stuff, that's more than enough. You, you never need to do more than that, so... I hope you realize I just like to give people a bit of, you know, stick. Because it is, you know, a bit of banter. But I all mean it in jest, so never feel pressured or any expectations. I know. Okay. All right, if you want. Um, and and any feedback, any anything whatsoever on the videos are always, you know, greatly appreciated, as you know. Um, I, I always like to have a belief is that you don't know there's a problem until someone points it out. So feedback is always good. Even if it has to be harsh and it's hard to read, I always agree that you should should say it. Because it's the only way you're going to get better. Right, we need to be ready for the next update, right? So it looks like sand is the direction to go in. So I've got, got some iron, but I've got no sand. So I think that's the, that's the grind we'll do. This time we won't waste it on making glass. Yeah, yeah, I keep, I keep digging the hole. That's what I do. Just make situations worse. Hey, you guys know what know what you're getting into when you come to my stream. At this point, are you really surprised? Half the reason you come here is just to watch me dig my own grave. 
Oh, it's the boat. Is the whistle? It's the because the steam on the top. Yeah. Well, like I'm a fan of Donald because it just he's just interesting. Look at him. He's just like yay. Now he's staring at a clock. Look at him. He's crazy. And he seems angry at the clock too. Look, he's angry at that clock. <laughs> Oh, he's great. I don't know. I, I just find him a little bit more interesting than every other character. Pooh in the search for the win. Well, Pooh is not a character for, for the record. Pooh is a companion. Oh, I've got this little thing here. Um, but Stitch is pretty great too. But I do like. I do hope they introduce more idle things to make the you know, place a little bit more lived in. Because you like you build this wicked valley, right? So you build all this, you build all this really cool kind of layout and all the seating and everything, but the characters never interact with it yet. And it just feels a little bit kind of like, uh, what's the point of the characters if they're just not doing anything with it? I don't know. I would like to, I would like to, to, to produce my, I would like to make my own in, indie comic book. I think that's that's just on the bucket list, you know. My mum's written, um, my mother, has self-published a lot of her own books, and I mean that's kind of inspired me to do it. I mean, I mean this is really a show and tell kind of stream. I think that's where my energy level is. Like, so my mother, and for those interested. You can buy this off Amazon because she did actually convert it into an ebook as well. Um, she self published all these books all by herself. Um, and so I'm very proud of my mother for doing that. Um, I'm less proud about how one of the characters have the same name as me. And. There are very explicit sex scenes of the same character in the book. Now, this is that is one of the reasons why I haven't read these books ever. Um, let's see if I can look it up on Amazon. Um, there we go. All right, so this is my mom's book that she's she's made i'm very i mean like don't get me wrong very very proud of her you know you, you got a mother who just wrote a book and chucked it online and she wrote seven others and it wasn't a case of if the popular she just had an idea and she ran with it ah, it's got four stars well it's three three point five stars i mean i wish more people would buy her book that would read that kind of thing but I don't, I don't know anyone. I wonder, I wonder what her other books are. I know that I'm really going off track. I don't really care. I mean, should care. But. I'll see if this one's got, uh, this one's got no reviews. So unfortunately it doesn't look like anyone kind of carries on the series, series, but it would be cool if my mum was able to see a lot of people enjoy a book before she passed away. Yeah, it's still awesome. And I wish, I, I mean, I wish I could promote it better or figure out how to promote it better for her. I just, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know that, I don't really know enough about that world to be able to push it further. It's all gonna just saw. All right, that's fair. I mean, you did dislocate it. If it wasn't saw, something would be dreadfully wrong. Well, for the record, I hope you hope you get get better. It's a sucky thing to happen. Impressive though. Don't take it. Don't don't get me wrong. That's impressive. I would encourage people to do that. The fact that you you yawned so hard that you dislocated your jaw is pretty impressive. I don't remember it, but my mum told me I make all the nurses and doctors laugh. Ah, uh, so you're under under laughing gas or anesthetic. Well, I'm going to tell you an inappropriate story, which you shouldn't really say, but 
So when I was eight years old, I got a disease called Medjugorje septicemia. And it's a bacterial meningitis. So it's meningitis and it was pretty much like a, what's the best word to say? It's a, basically a flesh eating kind of disease that just messed you up anyway. So I was, um, I was in a coma and it, I was in a wheelchair for about a year after um, it happened. Oh, hey, you go. And so a lot of the time, because of the pain I was going through, they put me under um, a lot of anesthetic and stuff. So I don't remember a lot of it, but one of the apparently one of the common things I did when I was on anesthetic, I was trying to shoot the nurses with my penis. Apparently. I was eight at the time, and apparently I thought it was hilarious, but apparently that's what I was doing all the time. So apparently the nurses... <laughs> Didn't like putting me under, because apparently that was my go-to. <laughs> Did you come in with it? Sorry, you okay? I was telling the story, um, because Max, unfortunately, dislocated his jaw last night, but when he was like, on anesthetics, he made the doctors laugh. So I was telling him the story of what happened when I was under um, anesthesia and what I used to do. Apparently. I don't remember it, so for all I know, it could the story could be very embellished, but... Um, that's essentially what happened when I was eight. It's funny when you're a kid. If I did that now, it would just be extremely inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how to read it either, Cal. Maybe you're supposed to... Are we supposed to be being British? I'm not going to do it. The only British accent I can do is just, just overly insulting, so I'm not going to do that. Where the hell's Goofy? Where, where the hell's Goofy? He's, he's at home. God damn it, Goofy. One bloody job. English saying I want never gets. Ah, oh, okay. You English in your crazy sayings. I still don't get your tradition of like getting a new prime minister every like two months. That's a crazy tradition. It's only a recent tradition, but you've just, I think. You guys have just got into that culture like TikTok. You just get bored too easy. Yeah, I just quickly read the... Actually, let's read some 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 of the patch notes. Because I, I saw something quite interesting in those. Have you gone over the patch notes yet? Hey, Phoenix. Good to see you again. So they just released this, and this came out... An hour ago, funny enough. So they released the patch notes about an hour ago. Look over here. <coughs> um, a festival. So yeah, it was just on the Discord. So if you go on the Discord, it says patch notes. Let's switch over here, and it goes festival of friendship patch notes. And it just basically quickly goes through the content. Now it doesn't say, uh, it doesn't tell you everything because they did this last time. Um, so they hold back a lot. So it's not every single little bit in there, but it's, there's a few interesting tidbits. So, um, oh, you can find it on their website then just on, on the dream Um, so it's got, a, it goes over the main story. Interesting thing, a snowstorm is brewing in the Frosted Heights. There might be a snowstorm. Um, take your Renault outside and change the look of your fully upgraded house to new added um, house colors or acquire premium house skins from the premium shop. So they're introducing a new premium shop into the game. That's interesting. So yeah, the premium shop opens you to moonstones to collect all sorts of exclusive rotating cosmetic items like clothing, furniture, premium house skins, and more. 
the premium shop content is separate from Scrooge McDuck's uh, general store. Be sure to check out the premium shop often to discover latest items to help you express yourself and design your village just like you want it to be. So there's a good chance that I will not be able to have all the items in the game anymore without buying every item, but I'm not going to have enough money to be able to do that. However, they have mentioned with the arrival of the premium shop, we have adjusted the daily moonstone chest to increase the number of moonstones you grant every day. You now get 50 instead of the 10. So if we increase that by 5, at least that's something. Scrooge McDuck has received a new shipment of new goods. So that's good. So I've got more stuff to hopefully buy from Scrooge. Um, we've seen some new crafting sword runes and we're both impressed and scared. Chests that are crafted at crafting stations now come in three different varieties, offering large story ca capabilities. So that's going to screw up all my storage stuff. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. While we appreciate the creative ways you've organized your chest hoards, we've added something, a uh, little something to help craft customizable signposts to help you remind what's in a specific chest or mark your favorite fishing spot. So that's interesting. So customizable fishing signs, right? Bridges. Um, furniture that is classified as storage, like fridges and cabinets, will now act like basic chest storage. That That's cool. That's a nice little thing. Gaming off the storage palooza, we've added, added quality of life features that allow you to auto sort your items as well as quick, quickly transfer items between your inventory and storage with a smart transfer. Now, what does that one mean? Does, so the question is like, can you click smart transfer and it will transfer to all your storage places? Or just the one you're looking at. Hmm. Take that Reno, uh, health Reno back inside. Modify the look of your doors. So we already know about the doors one. We've improved wallpaper management to include more priority in your house. Now you can just uh, you can adjust wallpaper on a wall by wall basis. Why would you want to do that instead of sitting one style for the whole room? Why would you want to do wall by wall? That would be very odd. Wouldn't it? Um, craft new role training manuals to change the roles of your village. I'm actually looking forward to that. I'd like to even them out a little bit. Um, whether you're maximizing your garden potential or giving goofy a new hobby, you don't have to feel locked into a past decision. That's cool. The valley is more talkative. Don't worry. We didn't increase Donald's tantrums. All characters have gained an additional daily discussion topics okay so they just say different things now and then they reducted everything else and then there's a whole bunch of um of bug fixes so that's going to be interesting so yeah <clears throat> that's what we've got to look forward to in 24 hours and we also Kristoff will have unlimited coal so notice they didn't mention that in there it's mainly because I'm just lazy and I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I just have to shorten everything. And that's why I'm called Dave. You know, my name's David, but I just call myself Dave. So it's easier. It's a lot easier. I'm just grind doing boring old grindy things. Just getting ready for the next update. So nothing too fancy. I'm trying to get more lobster so I can make the greatest meal in the game. <laughs> yeah, relatable. That's the key to be a successful streamer, right? Be relatable. So I just admit all my flaws and everyone's like, I've got that flaw too. You're relatable. I'm like, no, I'm normal. If you find extremists that aren't relatable to you, they're probably hiding some stuff from you. Be relatable, yeah. It's 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 like you read all the um you read articles and stuff about like what's you know how to be a successful streamer, 
the first thing on any of those lists should be like just be a normal person because there's so much fake bullshit out there <laughs> Just, just be a be a normal person riffing. Yes, you're gonna say a stupid thing once in a while, and yes, you're not always gonna get it right, and yes, you're not always going to please everybody, and someone's gonna have a problem with some kind of thing you've said. But that's okay. Everyone, everyone has different opinions, and there's there's no one person in this world that everyone agrees with. Because well, if we would all agree with them, they'd be in charge of everything. There we go, I'm done that. Alright team, we'll leave it there. So thanks all for watching. Um, tonight we'll be doing a lot of pre-update prep, which will be fun um, before the update. So thanks all for watching. I enjoyed the good chats I've had. You know, morning streams always surprise me because it always starts off very quiet and then all of a sudden someone comes, someone comes along and just surprises me. So thank you. Um, and yeah. Thanks Calypso, thanks Syndrome, thanks Opal, thanks everybody. I'll be on in another 13 hours from now, but until next time, kia ora.